Hello, time travelers. This week's video is about something amazing my son did all on his own. He did all the research himself and bought himself a phone. This is a Galaxy S10. He did all the research and he's been looking at, at different phone models for how long? I don't know. It was been like at least six months, right? Yeah. Now that, that's, that's not, I wouldn't say dedication, that's patience, right? Instead yeah. of just rushing it. What different models were you looking at? It was the OnePlus 7 Pro. Okay. Which is bigger than this. Which is my my Note 8. I have a Note 8, by the way. Future video about how I've obtained this coming out. Charlie and I are doing all kinds of sci-fi stuff for that video. The Note 7 is... I mean, the S10, which Charlie has now... <sighs> I said the wrong thing. Note 7 is the one that caught fire, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, this S10 is actually the like size of a phone that I would actually like. I might actually get one. And how much did you pay for this? $185. And you saved up the money yourself, right? Yeah. Didn't you sell something so you can have money towards it? Yeah. What was that, the, the iPhone success? Yeah. Yeah, there was a previous video where he, he cracked the screen and we fixed that. I'll put a card up here if you want to see that. Now, I think we should go over the features like there's amazing things on this phone like headphone jack focus a headphone jack and a dual slot so you can put the sim card next to an sd card or two sims because reasons what kind of camera does it have on it, it as a normal camera a telephoto and an ultra wide and does the stock app shoot in 4k 60 it shows shoots in 4K 60. Yeah. That's good. 60 frames a second. Because that's what I I edit in 1080p 60 frames a second. But I like importing 4K a lot because it has more pixels to work with. Work I can't talk. Work with. So you, like if you were to crop, you still have a lot of pixels and it would look good. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. You're going to start shooting with that? Yeah, obviously. Because um like tablet has a garbage camera. I, I I think I should mention that this phone is not the I've got I got a list here. It is not the S10e, the S10 Plus, or the S10 5G. It's a standard S10. Like, wouldn't you recommend that if you're looking at an S10, you want to get the regular S10, right? Yeah. The 5G is stupid big. The S10e is underperformer, and the S10 Plus is does it have more curves or something else weird going on, or just too expensive? No, it's just, no, not that. It's bigger and it has like some extra camera features and I think it has a Snapdragon 855 Plus instead of a normal one. So maybe you would consider looking at the at that. Or the 5G if you have really, really big hands. <laughs> big man hands. I, I, I've got big hands. It, but if I, you're MKBHB, you get that one. MKBHB that, on his channel, he yeah, sees that big old hands and he handles phones all the time yeah he, he like makes phones look tiny inside of his big hands yep <laughs> hey time travelers this is future slash editing me here uh, I forgot to say this in the video Charlie did a really good <clears throat> sorry I got the hiccups because I just ate supper and I ate too fast Charlie did a really good video reviewing the s10 on his channel and I'm gonna put a card up here so that you could see it and he actually <clears throat> edited that video on the S10, so that's that's even more impressive. On top of, so that's even more impressive. On top of the fact that I'm impressed that he bought the phone on his own. So let's move on to this week's tech thing, which I'm going to send back to past me because I already filmed it earlier. What? Thank you, future me. So this week's tech thing is another smartwatch. So if you've been watching the channel, you know I've been comparing these two smartwatches. Well, a smartwatch with just a fitness tracker. So I can tell you guys in an upcoming video what the features are. So if you're looking to get one, you can make a more educated purchase. But then I found one that's priced in between the two that has a feature set in between the two. And it's this Utvas. Utvas? Utva? I don't know. It's not written on a box. Who cares? But Link in the description, obviously, if you want to check it out on Amazon. Here's a little bit of B-roll from the unboxing video, and you can see, basically, it comes with two different wristbands. 
maybe you don't like the one color but like the other color but the particular amazon listing also has a pink one that's pink or silver band in the packaging versus the green or black uh, looking at this one this is like the same kind of rubbery texture that you get on a generic fitness tracker pretty much but it's it's not bad it's still sturdy and everything now it's got a screen that's just basic color lcd but that's actually a good thing because for me the battery lasts forever i charged this last night before i went to bed and now see how late it is in the day 8 53 the battery's still full i'm going to turn it at an angle so you can get a better view here you tell it you're about your exercise you can check your heart rate which is really important and if you don't know you need to know your minimum heart rate and your maximum heart rate so that you are doing your workout you only will go to 80 percent because that's healthy and this thing will actually check your blood pressure using just the watch. Smart watches will sometimes make you use a sensor on the back of the phone instead of the actual watch. And this one's a feature to tell you how much blood oxygen you have. And then this is your standard SMS messages from your phone to get notifications there. The weather I've been having a problem with. Even though I changed the location on my phone to where I live. Of course, again, that might be in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, but I'm not sure. You also have a timer, which isn't really a timer, it's a stopwatch. A timer is something that counts down from an amount you set, and maybe you can set an amount in here, but I can't figure it out. So that's all I get is start and stop and pause. Find phone I've already used, that works. And then other, you can switch the watch face style, which I'm going to go into on my phone itself. So the app you're going to want to use is called Hero Band 3. And I slept 10 hours last night because, honestly, I sleep 6 hours a night except on the weekends. I sleep 10. But a smartwatch is what's helping me make sure I get 8 hours average a week. And then there's my heart rate that I measured earlier, my blood pressure, and my blood oxygen. And this is where I switched the watch face to that one. You also got the analog looking one. And you have one where you can like edit and choose what picture you want it to be. So that's pretty sweet actually. because. Fancy smartwatches don't let you just put whatever picture you want sometimes. You can set alarms. That's cool because alarms that vibrate on your wrist are, are pretty effective. And you can configure some applications to show you notifications. I haven't enabled that yet because I'm going to be testing that in a future video. Others. You can change your, your system. Oh, weather right there. It says Columbus, but the temperature system is Celsius. So let's change it to Fahrenheit. Yeah, that makes more sense. Silly me. It only took this video for me to figure it out. <laughs> then you got your profile button down here in the bottom right. And that's where you set up your height, your weight, and everything. So it knows how to measure with the uh, pedometer in here how many steps you're taking. So get subscribed if you're interested in seeing me compare these three things. If you're wondering about the price ranges, Amazon doesn't like it if I'm very specific. So I'm going to just say under 50, under 40. And this one you get like 60 to 70 bucks, but used on eBay. All right, thank you, past me. Are you trying to become Macaulay Culkin with all the watches and stuff you have? You know, come, come to think of it, that, that that is the funny reference. There's a video where there was a Macaulay Culkin version of me and I had this weird dream sequence. It's hilarious. what do you think about that video? He nods, if he nods, it's a good video because he's a kid, he's the now generation. Uh, um, I don't think they do that. <laughs> they do what? Just nod. They're just whatever. But th there's a card up here if you want to watch that. Now on to enjoy this random thing. This random thing actually comes from Facebook, which is this right-handed screwdriver and left-handed screwdriver picture that I found off of Grant Guitars on Facebook. With troll face included. Yep, making fun of how some things say left-handed when there's no difference. And it, I thought it was a good one to share because it was a random thing I shared on my Facebook and I had a conversation with a few people about left-handed versus right-handed instruments. But if you're interested in like my following me somewhere, you could follow me on Facebook at Per Revolutions or Twitter or Instagram. I have the same handle on all of them. Or you can follow him on Facebook or Facebook because he has three tabs of it for some reason. Well, I have one tab because that's the random thing and then another tab which is my personal facebook so if you try to add me on regular just facebook and i don't know who you are maybe you message me first if you're my youtube friend or something i'm like hey i'm your youtube friend from blah blah blah. that's my my picture right now now 
on to this week's dad joke time. I thought you were going to say dad thing for a second. I, yeah, my brain said dad thing, and I'm like, no, that's not what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, dad. Th 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 this week's dad joke comes from my dad. He, he actually picked up the slack this week to text me a good one. It says, what did the horse say when it collapsed? And I said, what? He says, help, I can't giddy up. Get it? Get it! Arr. And here's a bonus dad joke. It's a comic. Wanna grab dinner? Says the one vulture to the other one. He says, no thanks. I just ate on the road. Get it? I really laughed to at it because you like get it. <laughs> Is that all the segments? Okay. Um, did we do everything? I don't know. We talked about the phone. I guess this is just me being awkward for the end screen because nobody knows how to make a good end screen. Oh yeah, I forgot. We already did the random thing. I thought we didn't do the random thing, but he did do the random thing. <laughs> Shut up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>